half the planet's population still doesn't have internet access. Much of Africa, for instance, playing catch-up with connectivity and digital literacy. A divide laid bare by the coronavirus pandemic, with school closures leaving some students with no alternative learning. But high-tech mobile digi-trucks are helping to heal that divide, like this one in Kenya. On board, everyone from students to entrepreneurs learn how to use computers and connect with the digital world. During this pandemic, most of our, uh, the young people have been able to use their skills to continue their studies. And also for the young entrepreneurs, the skills have uh, enabled them to keep their businesses moving. 20-year-old Caroline Beneka Onesmas has been on the digi truck. She lives in the town of Mulolongo, near the capital Nairobi, with her mum, dad and sister. Her new digital skills coming on top of a college education in hairdressing and beauty therapy. Before the, the digi trap came, I actually never knew how to use computers. It was my first time I was taught how to use it and it brought so much impact onto me. Now things are done using technology, not like there before, and it has made things much easier. For now, Caroline just has a smartphone, but there are special loan schemes to help Kenyans access computers. The DigiTruck is part of Huawei's Tech for All initiative. It's also connecting school children in South Africa and has enabled distance learning in Senegal during the pandemic. It was all highlighted during a recent webinar. The goal of this initiative is to make sure that every person can benefit from digital technology. We want to help make quality education available everywhere, anytime, and to everyone. Belgium based Close the Gap is also helping to get technology to communities in need. It recycles European computers, tablets, and smartphones, giving them a new lease of life. COVID 19 has really created, I would say, a kind of a digital poverty that came to the surface now. Uh, in all societies and new opportunities uh, are coming up to all step together in actually making the new normal actually also a, a, a prosperous one for the left behind. Here in Europe, 14% of households don't have internet access and 22% to a computer, limiting things like distance learning. In Spain, a special smart bus has been helping children access and navigate the online world. Huawei is working in, uh, in Europe from uh, 20 years ago. And the Smart Bus project uh, is a pioneer project uh, that we developed here in our country, in Spain, but has been also exported to another European country, such as Portugal, Belgium or Luxembourg. Back in Kenya, Caroline is now hoping to set up her own beauty business. When I think of all those training that I did, when I think of the business, I feel so excited indeed. Yeah, I'm happy. 